hey, hey, my name is Paul Slinks and welcome to Love Esquire. Damn, it's already been 10 days. Time sure flies. Milk. Sup, bro. Sup. Mm, more about gifts. So, sis, any other things that you like? Oh, the snacks at the plaza are pretty great. I remember when I was little, Mum used to sell some at the stall. She would bake these awesome apple pies. At the end of the day, I'd have first pick to all the leftovers. Ah, those were the days. I guess it's true what they say. Food makes memories. Of course it does. That's why I put all my heart and soul when I bake. <laughs> Our relationship with Emmy has increased by 24 points in total. <sighs> okay. Tavern. Here we go. Let's start up there. Ah, perfect time for a pint or two. Well, if it isn't the farm boy. The big boss. Or should I say squire? Boss, glad to see ya. Congrats on moving up in the world, kiddo. <laughs> Thanks. Now everyone can finally see how great I am. Listen, I'm all for you being a squire, but the job's kind of dangerous, you know? You really sure you're up for the task? You're not the first guy to ask me that. I know the risks. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> Just making sure. This place has served a lot of veterans, and I gotta tell you, their stories ain't pretty. Boss, I may look like a goofball, but I want to protect my new life right here. I want to be strong enough to do so. I see. Well, you're gonna need a lot of liquid courage to help you with that. <laughs> Here you go. It's on the house. Really? Sweet. Thanks, boss. You're a real pal. Cheers. <laughs> Don't die, kiddo. Cheers. Oh. And now for my squire training. When will I unlock normal and beast mode, I wonder? Even for full star mo uh, more expensive. But if they take less time... I'll be your knight in shining armor. Ladies, please! Alright. There's enough squire for everyone. <laughs> Charisma to 3, attack of hue to 62. Hey, kiddo. I see you've been trying to talk to the ladies. Any luck? <laughs> I do, but sometimes I mess up real bad. How bad? You don't want to know, probably. I don't want to know. Most of the time, I don't know what to say. Sounds like real life. I try real hard to think of something, but I end up not saying anything. But then again, I have that problem with everyone. I see what your problem is. You're thinking too hard. Might be the case, might be the case. What? Look, kiddo, just go with the flow. Tell him the first thing that pops into your head. That might not be the best of ideas, you know. Behind every face is a person going through their own stuff. So just be friendly. So you're telling me not to think about stuff too much? Hey, aren't you pretty good at that? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Anyway, just go out there and have fun. Meet new people. Okay, I'll try. But I already raised... Normal! Uh, I mean, normie mode. 25. Okay, we need to earn more. Start earning more. No, no events? Uh, let's go. I don't know. Let's go. Barracks. 4 p.m. Archives free. 
Okay, barracks. Let's train over there. It's time to get good. I'll do more next time. I promise. So I can't. Damn it. I wish I could still do some training. Uh, let's go home then. Wait, can I buy something in uh, the plaza? Ooh, Emmy is not around. That's surprising. Something is happening in the barracks. Seems like you isn't around yet. Maybe I could fool around for a bit. Oh, nice targets. I've always wanted to shoot an arrow. Legend say that Sir Grant killed five bullets with just one arrow. Using her teeth. I hope I can live up to that. Let's see. Steady. Aim. Yeah, bullseye. <laughs> I'm a genius. Good job. Oh! Hey here. Did you see that? You seem to have a knack for archery. I just wish you weren't shit at everything else. Uh, hey! I'll get better. Besides, there are knights known for their archery. Those same knights are known for their sword skills, too. <laughs> but that's enough for now. There's something else you need to do. Like what? Huh? Patrol duty! Huh? But that's boring! I have to train, man. No buts. It's part of your training. Yeah, if this doesn't raise my stats, then it's not really training, man. You can't be serious. I am serious. Don't you want the exposure? Some of Cerulea's most famous knights used to be guards. That sounds like a load of ball. Yeah. Well, you're still doing this whether you like it or not. Mm. Fine. Are you at least coming with me? Me? Hell no! I've got more important stuff to do. Hmm? Like escorting the princesses, for example. Fuck. You just want Princess Kamala for yourself. We won't allow that. Oh, me? What could I possibly gain from being left alone with an incredibly attractive princess? Weasel. Well, I've got to run. Duty calls. Yeah, yeah, have fun. Sucker, you think I can't ditch this training of yours? Oh, and don't even think about ditching. I already told the guard captain about you. Mm. Did he read my mind? You... Sometimes I wish you weren't too serious about my future. Well, it's too bad that I care. Now, go on. Street crime won't fight itself. Fine, fine. Damn it. This really sucks. Hey, Captain, is this always a thing? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, it's the guy that got his ass kicked by his stepsister. You know, standing around, doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, I know what you mean. We do get the occasional thieving street rat. I'll holler if we're trying to catch one. Thanks, man. Boy. I hope we get some action soon. Say it loud! Say it clear! Sounds like action. Let's kick some ass. Would you look at that, kid? You got what you wanted. Ah, uh oh, a crowd's coming in and they do not look happy. Say 
You aren't even in sync. Get the hell out. Squire, let's handle this mess. Handle this? There's just the two of us. What if they fight back? We fight with them then. Do they have bitch forts? Uh, no. Then we are good. Then they're harmless. I don't think that's how this works. Yes, it. That, that's how it works, man. Don't sweat it, kid. I've seen worse mobs before. This won't be a problem. Hey, you want to take the lead? I'll back you up. Jumping Lady of the Lake, are you serious? Think of this as on-the-job experience. If you get stabbed, don't worry. The infirmary's right over there. <laughs> Good luck! Hey, wait! He ditched it, didn't he? That jerk just shoved me. Well, I've got no choice. Let the Alcozy pay! Um, hello there. What seems to be the problem, sir? I would say the hairstyle of the gay guy on the left. The problem, boy? It's this damned alliance with Alcos! We demand an audience with a princess! I'm sorry, sir, but you'll probably need an appointment. Don't you sir me! The princess will hear about this now! What in Cerulea is going on? You! You gotta help me! We've got a bunch of Alcos haters over here. Sir Hugh, what is all this commotion? Hello. A mob, your highness. It's not safe here. Especially for Princess Kamala. Is something the matter, Beatrice? Okay, did anyone understand what they fuck freaking screamed? It's been it's been too long. Long. Justice! You should stay back. These people are not happy to see you. Beatrice, if I may aid in this situation. I appreciate the gesture, Kamala. But these are my subjects. I I understand. Don't worry, princess. We'll deal with this. Right, Sir Grand? Hey, 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 don't... Don't steal my spotlight! Your order, princess? At ease, both of you. I will handle this situation. Hey! She will Your Highness, you shouldn't... Are you ordering me around, Sir Hugh? Because I believe that is my job, not yours. Kick it. I... I only advise caution, your highness. Yes, yes. I'll be quite all right. Let the Alcozy pay! <gasps> <laughs> I guess we don't have any more strength left. Sir Grand, please do something about this noise. As you command. Sir Grand boldly takes the front line like a badass. That shuts him up. So then we can back away and leave. The princess will now hear of your grievances. Let the leader of this group step forth. Make yourself known, good sir. The shitty moustache guy. The name's Edmund. I trained the militia in Bordemer. And I defended her when those Alcozy scum went on a rampage. Sir Edmund, yes. I know you. Never heard of the guy. You did what you could for the town. And I'll be damned if Bordemer doesn't get the justice it deserves. Maybe it doesn't. And what justice would you have me do? You know damn well what to do, princess. Kick your ass? Make Alcos pay for Bordemer. And why should they? Mm. Why? Th 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 they're responsible. That's why. Mm -hmm. Do you have any proof of this? Mm. Those damned pirates were Alcozy. Pirates. Pirates. <sighs> oh my god, this guy is an idiot. The same pirates plaguing their own kingdom. Now, what of it? Then why did we get the shitty end of things? It's not our fault. They can't handle their own bad eggs. 
Uh, seems like you can handle them yourself as well. Is the crown's aid not enough for Bordemer, Sir Edmund? Would you have me waste half of the kingdom's treasury for its restoration? What I want is just some bloody accountability! That's all! Dapped. Hey, Princess Kamala! Own up to your father's mistakes! Sir Edmund, we are at war. We need all the resources we can get to defeat the Gegners. If we lose, there will be no Bordemer and no home for any of us. Did you forget? Or does that dreadful patch of rodent fur you have for a mustache remind <laughs> you from seeing the bigger picture? <laughs> Told you I had a shitty mustache. Lord Flankman was right. You are like your father. It is you, Princess, who are blind. Blinded by a cozy wealth! Can I kick his ass? The nerve! How dare you bring my father into this? Can I kick his ass? Listen here, you bristly buffoon! I have heard quite enough of your whining! Nice! I will not waste the rest of my day dealing with you miserable lot. Nice! Hm. Good day, sir. I've seen a lot of snooty nobles during my time, but this girl is something else. I mean, she said goofy. But Bristly, I spent at least an hour trimming this mustache. Why, you, you? Uh, it's still shitty. Yeah, you are still not in sync. How about we go with out with the Bordemer dogs? Because sounds like you're like that. Name calling now, are we? Clearly, that mustache does not reflect any wisdom that comes with maturity. What? You started it! Sir Hugh, I leave the rest of this mess to you. We will be heading back to the castle. By your command, Princess. We will not be silenced! Wanna bet? Justice! Yes, yes! Alright, break it up. Uh, it takes one, but Hugh and I drive back the mob with the help of some guards. We were stubborn much, but I'm glad it didn't turn to a brawl. Phew, that was, uh, something. Well, look at that, kiddo. Looks like patrol duty wasn't so boring after all. I should be careful what I wish for. That was a pain to deal with. Expect more of this. As long as the Alliance Treaty isn't signed, there'll be opposition. But at least you know how to deal with an angry mob now. Oh, boy. I'll see you around then. Right, that's enough for today. I guess I should head back. Are you serious? Hmm? Was it that bad? Definitely. They even brought up her father. Then what? She got angry, of course. As usual, if only the king wasn't sick. This is why we need a man on the throne, not a... How dare you say something like that? I heard everything. Well, she's pretty harsh, I'll give him that. Yeah, but I mean... If... Oh, come on, the leader has to be a bit harsh, at least. And kinda of hard to deal with as well. Whatever. Meh, I've had enough of this place. I could use a drink. No, you could use going to... To the barracks and train. 240 points! What?! Why am I here? I was supposed to be at the barracks training. I can feel the burn. <laughs> Strength to three, HP to sixty-four, and Hughes HP to two twenty. Hey, I see you've been training. Yes. Of course I am. I'm gonna be the best knight in Cerulea after all. Exactly. The best, huh? Well, let's see how good you are. That, what? No! Come on, put up that shield. Huh? But, but the... <laughs> Hugh! What the hell? Your shield arm's getting better, but... Yeah. <laughs> Not good enough. Hey, what gives? Mind your stance. Shield up. Stand strong. If you want to protect someone, you gotta do it right. Got that? Yeah, got it. Good. 
Now get ready for another strike. Bring it. Okay. Why do we not get anything from Dre? Wait, I stop. Go back. Yes, normie mode. Let's go to the library now then. Wait, uh, event at home. Let's go then. Even for the training is tempting, I have to. Even if more tempting. Hey sis, pops, I'm home. It, it's fine, dad. <coughs> I'm okay. <laughs> no, you aren't. I can hear that. Sis? You think you're fooling your old man? I know you're a strong girl, but you gotta know when to call it quits. Pops, what's wrong with Amy? What's it look like? She's sick. No, nothing. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm just a bit tired. Oh, come on, Amy. You're sick and you know it. You've barely even touched your food. I'm just not hungry. That's all. You've been pushing yourself too hard again. Not sick. Just give a few minutes. <laughs> I'll be back to normal. <sighs> yara, yara. Ah, you're just like your mother. Taking on the world without once thinking about yourself. Maybe it's my fault. I've been too busy. Dad, no. Yeah, I guess you could give up on going to gym every other day. I kept my eyes on the fields all this time. I should have known. Don't blame yourself, Pops. If anything, it's my fault. She's been doing all my chores ever since I started Squire work. Now listen here, boy. Don't go apologizing for things you don't have to. But I owe you guys so much. You're a squire now. Stuff like loyalty is good and all. But if you're gonna let things like goodwill and gratitude slow you down, then you're never gonna get anywhere in this life. Stick to your duties, lad. <sighs> Though I'm one to talk. It's nobody's fault. Amy, at least let me help you up to your bed. You're too weak to climb the stairs on your own. No, it's really okay. I can do it on my own. <laughs> Amy tried to stand up. Her legs shake as she makes her way across the living room. Amy, please. If you don't want Pops to do it, at least let me carry you up. You can go to my room. I can take care of you there. What? But... Come on. I could use a good workout. Pops, on the other hand, he just pick you up like a paperweight. True. Stupid cracker sprites. Stupid what? What are you on about? Cracker sprites. You know, they're these little spirits that live in the crops. They drain your energy if you forget to take care of the plants. I must have forgotten to water a patch. <laughs> Stupid me. Don't do that. Do what? The reason you're sick is because you've been pushing yourself too hard. Don't go blaming yourself just because of some old wives' tale. <laughs> it's not just some old wives' tale. My mother used to tell me stories of Cracker Sprites. Oh. Sis, you're burning up. I am? It's that bad? Wait, bro, what if... What if... Amy, are you alright? What if it's the same sickness that got my mom? Bro, I'm scared. Am I going to die? No. What? No, it'll be fine. No, it's not fine. That's what the doctor said. They said she would be fine. Everyone told me. Everyone said she would be fine. Sis, calm down. I... I... Relax. Take deep breaths. I'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Have you calmed down? Yeah, I hate this. It's just... being sick. It's so scary. Stupid cracker sprites. They've already taken so much from me. I'm sorry for all the trouble, bro. Don't apologize. Wait here. I'll get a basin. 
Hmm? What are you doing? What's it look like? I'm gonna give you a sponge bath. What? You can't do that. You're sweating all over. You can't go to sleep like that. You have a point, but... Come on. It's the least I can do. You've been doing all of my chores ever since I started squire training. But you're a guy. Does it have to be you? You're too weak to give yourself one. And the only other choice we have is calling Pops over to do it. And trust me, he's going to make it real weird. He'll say something like, Ha ha! My child, look how much you've grown! And what are these things on your chest? <laughs> no, stop. Just thinking about it makes me... Okay, fine. You win. <laughs> Just give me a towel to cover myself, okay? Sure. That actually feels really good. I never noticed. But him has got a really nice back. Uh, is it weird that I'm noticing that? Damn it. Never mind. Arthur, think of something else. I can't. This is revenge, isn't it? What revenge? Huh? For what? For all the times I made you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe. Just you wait then. Once I'm feeling better, I'll get you back. I remember seeing you for the first time. I was still taller than you back then. I don't have a problem with that. What did you think when you first saw me? Ew, it's a girl. <laughs> oh. What I really thought. Of course. I got used to girls after a while. How about me? What were you thinking when we first met? I was thinking you looked lost and lonely. Really? Yeah, I would know. Because I was feeling the same way too. Hmm? Oh, okay. Mom had died earlier on that year. When something like that happens, things feel different. It was hard to just go back to playing with the other kids. But I guess I made friends with you because I thought we were the same. The years sure have gone by, haven't they? Yeah. But whatever happens, you're still the little brat I met 14 years ago. <laughs> well, you're still the hopeless loser I used to bully. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Well, fine. You've changed a bit since then. Really? Yeah. Now you're a hopeless pervy loser. Makes sense. Ow! Oops. Sorry. You, you splashed water in my eyes. Accident. Yeah, right. That was on purpose. Well, you can't prove it. <clears throat> hey, do you mind staying with me for a while? Sure thing. Yeah, looks like she's starting to fall asleep. Good. She needs rest. Hey, bro. What's wrong with staying here? What? I don't want you to go. The war. I don't want to lose you. Please stay with me. Please stay with me. I really love you, sis. But <sighs> asleep already, huh? Well, good night, sis. Kairuian pie. Two hundred and sixty points. Hmm. My first time dealing with an angry mob. I'm glad nothing bad happened, but I learned that there's a lot of people who aren't big fans of princess batteries. And the alcohol the I get being prisoners isn't all about cakes and ice cream. And I've run out of cakes. But I have ice cream. Emmy got really sick. It's been a while since I took care of her. I swear she should take it easy sometimes. Yeah, exactly the thing I'm saying to certain someone a lot lately. Maybe not exactly, but something in a similar manner. <sighs> All right, next day. Uh, hey, Amy. Good morning. I'm glad you're awake. Look at this. Uh, a piece of paper. Not just any paper. It's a coupon for Serena's shop. Huh? Serena? Is she cute? 
<laughs> I, uh, she's mature. <laughs> mature? Ah, you mean she has a nice rack. Could you stop thinking of boobs for once? She's a shopkeeper. And to answer your question, I guess no. Fine, fine. Oh, uh, what about the coupon? I saved this for you. There might be something useful you could find there. Okay, she's hot. It says, free item. Whoa! Thanks for hanging on to this, sis. Let's check it out! Looking good, Mr. Fertility God. For the last time. <laughs> it does not look like you, so stop flirting with it. <laughs> it's called admiring art, Amy. Just look at those muscles. Could you not? It's creeping me out. Fine, I'll stop. Now, come on, bro. It's over here. Hey, wait up! Get your limited edition <gasps> Sir Grand helmets and more only at Serena's shop. Magic Potion 69. Can, can we date her? Oh, greetings, Amy. Hey, Serena, I brought you another customer. Sup? And who might this be? <laughs> I... Okay, I got a little bit of a shock throwing body and... Right now, I feel like there might be some... Ara Ara action. He's my bro. Step bro, actually. Yes, important part is to point out it's the step bro. Greetings. Hello. Hey, so I heard you were giving out free stuff. Bro, manners. Do not fret, Amy. He's merely heading straight to business. Exactly. See, she gets it. Here's my coupon. <laughs> the way he said it. Hmm, yes, let me see if I have something for you. Mm hmm. Ah, here it is. Have the cerulean lotus brooch. Nice, I think. Uh, thanks, Serena. This is real nice and all, but I don't think a squire like me could use this. Oh, I see. Well, you could give it to someone special as a gift. I'm sure this would be more popular with the ladies. We have the gift for the birthday. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I will. And if you need to buy more gifts, just drop by my store. Oh, I think I will. But do remember that the next items that you get from me will come at a price. Uh, can I pay with my body? Gotcha! Thanks for the coupon, Serena. We'll see you around. And thank you for visiting my shop. Well, she was nice. And just like you said, mature. Ah, bro! Anyway, thanks for bringing me here, sis. Those items looked pretty useful. No problem, bro. Let us brood obtained. <laughs> Hello. Please waste your gold here. Alluring cosmetic. Girls and makeup. It's something I'll never understand. Mm -hmm. Cupcake of friendship. Whoa, looks it. Look at this fancy, schmancy cupcake. A riddle necklace. Definitely from a riddle. This looks amazing. A riddle. Okay. Fancy bouquet. You can never go wrong with some good old flowers. Okay, that's true. Giant grimoire. That is one creepy looking book. Kadupal jewel box. Now this one fancy looking box. I wonder what it's for. For jewelry, star compass. This one of those smart people things. <laughs> Tart cards. These cards have some weird looking pictures on them. Wild pinkberry. The sweetest fruit in the kingdom. Fruit. She likes fruits. Luxurious ring. Oh, shiny. I wish I could afford it. Technically, we can. Can we sell something? Only lotus. Br oh. Okay. This pretty face has some pretty items for sale. Mm-hmm. 
What if I... What would you like to buy today? Do you want to see my wares? <laughs> yes. What would you like to buy today? If I Hello. do this a lot... What would... As... This... Will it trigger this... something? This... As... I wish it did. As... Do you want to see my wares? Uh. Hey there! Family. Bro, I'm worried about Dad. Huh? He's been staying up late and drinking more each night. Oh no. Maybe it's Mum. I think he misses her. It's surprising how such a big smile can hide all that sadness. But, but it's okay, bro. We all gotta try our best to smile. Sup? What would you like to buy today? I don't remember what stat I was supposed to increase. I feel like something in our hives, but I'm not 100% sure, but still we can go there. I haven't been there in a while. And, well, hey bro, back so soon? Emma is here, so... I could give her something. It's not the time yet. Go. Uh huh. That's neat. Yeah. Oh. Also, I need to go on an adventure. Deep. Nothing. Deep. Deep. So much to do, so much to read. <laughs> <laughs> now I can use more than ten percent of my brain. <laughs> Sup, kiddo? Glad to see you're hitting the bucks. Ugh, you! This is so boring! Castle Architecture and Design? The Big Book of Siege Engines. Pfft, why do I need to read these? Stop whining. These are the basics for any squire. Really now? I thought I just had to follow you around and stuff! Look, being a squire is not just about following me around, okay? A squire is an important part of the Cerulean War Machine. Look at everything about it, I keep saying Cerulean, I think. They are essential in Whatever. castle defense and helping out in sieges. If you know your stuff, you might be able to climb the ranks real quick. R really? Of course. Do you know the legend of Sir Davis the Wise? Davis? Yeah, isn't he that knight who loves castles? Indeed, Sir Davis loved castles. Maybe a bit too much. Let's not get into the details then. Anyway, when he was a lowly squire, he made it a point to visit every castle in the kingdom and intimately remember every detail. I told you to not go into details about this. That knowledge came in useful when he helped liberate Fort Bradford from a group of bandits. For his deeds, he was knighted as Sir Davis the Wise. Sir Davis? The weird castle fetish man, I think. Wow. Now, if you want to claw your way to the top, I suggest you start reading. Huh, I didn't know that. Thanks, you. But for that, we also need more money. Oh, it's been a while. Isn't it the nurse? What's she doing over there? Sup? It's been a while. Oh, is she trying to get to the book? <laughs> This makes me nervous. Looks like she's about to fall. Hey, wait a minute. You just told me about this. When a girl falls on you, a guy's hands can end up in all sorts of places. Is this my chance? What should I do? A chance would help her, but a pair would also help her. Well, sorry to disappoint, but... I will follow... In footsteps of Joseph Joestar. Screw you, she needs help. Hey Giselle, need a hand? I could get those for you. No. Uh, you sure? Your legs are shaking. If you keep at it, you're gonna break yourself in half. I don't need you. Oh, oh my heart. <laughs> 
She's falling. Holy balls, I gotta catch her. I think I made it. Y you okay? Yeah. 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 I'm fine. Good. Feeling you is inconvenient. Ouch. Wow. Thanks. Ugh. Stinking ladder. Hmm? What's this book doing here? Wait. The Mystical Adventures of the Beautiful Witch of Crystal Lake. Occult maiden, seafarer Celine. Celine? What's with this long ass title? And what's with all these flowers on the cover? Is this the book you were trying to get? Y yes. You read this stuff? She swipes the book from her hand. I didn't know she could move that fast. It's a masterpiece. Stupid. It is? Shut up. Oh, great. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. Seventy-eight points in total. Y Can we talk yes? about Tom? So, Giselle, where do you hang out? Infirmary. We need to reconstruct the question. But that's where you work. Doesn't it get tiring? No. R really? You sure about that? No crowds. Oh, okay, I understand you then. It's quiet. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. Perfect place. Most of the time? Is there anyone bothering you? Yes. Tell me who it is! I'll give him a good old squirrely punch. Why are you looking at me like that? What? Dumbass. Why? I think she doesn't like me. I don't know why, but I have this weird feeling she might not like me. <sighs> the routine. Tick. tick. And tick. Why not? Oh. Instantly it became warmer. Okay, so... We have an event here, apparently. So Giselle the Archives. Apparently she likes the Seafarer Cillian series. Therefore, that she'd be into magical girl stuff. Free, free, free. Oh, that means in the next episode we are going on an adventure. I wonder if it will end up fine. And for some reason, we have bad trees with yellow heart as well. Now the thing about it now was the first. On the other hand, no. Actually, with Giselle and uh, Vel, we don't have that many of, EV of the events. With Amelie a lot. With Kamala a lot. With Beatrice a bit. Alright. Alright. Anyway, for now, let's end it here. Hope you enjoyed. And we shall continue tomorrow. Hope to see you there as well. Bye-bye.